Just going to provide a quick update on some of the innovations around Wallaby surveillance using drones and particularly Interpine have been working with the Bay of Plenty Regional Council and have recently deployed um, both thermal and night vision uh, on the same drone and this is uh, just a quick update. So traditionally um, over the last six months or so we've been doing uh, wallaby surveys with thermal and um, and that's thermal alone uh, on the drone and so you can see here a, a couple of wallabies um, within a young pine plantation their their movement is quite distinct and so um, from that perspective and their shape uh, they're relatively easy to differentiate but uh, one of the challenges has been um, doing this efficiently and and so what we wanted to look at is whether we could incorporate uh, on the same drone night vision uh, with a IR illuminator um, at reasonable range to provide that, that final species confirmation. And so um, this is just an example of, of that sort of thermal only footage. Um, the drone up in the, the top left is, is an example of the sensor. So you've got on that particular sensor, uh, a thermal camera uh, 640 by 512, um, a laser range finder um, that provides uh, distance and targeting uh, for the object of interest. Um, so that gives a GPS location of the actual object rather than just the drone. And then you've also got a 20 times optical, um, 20 megapixel, uh, sensor there as well which is night vision capable um, and there's a wide angle pilot a couple more wide angle pilot cameras on there as well but um, these are the key ones that will be used at night so you can see those wallabies very distinct movement um, this is thermal only footage but it shows um, what, what we're looking for So just having a look at um, the capabilities of, of incorporating the night vision, um, here we've got uh, cattle on the pasture out in front of us um, on the left using a, a thermal camera. Um, on the right um, we've got that night vision um, at that exact same point in time. So you can see it ranging at about 680 metres and being able to differentiate and clearly see those those cattle uh, sitting sitting in the pasture there. Just as a, as a way of reference, um, in the bottom middle uh, you can see one of those wide angle RGB cameras um, just showing that, that it is pitch dark out there at, at the time of that footage being taken. Uh, another example here looking at a deer, uh, in this case um, a stag here, again altitude around 150 metres above ground, range about 170 metres, um, the thermal clearly uh, indicating uh, an animal and, and then the night vision being able to uh, quickly um, spot the animal, identify it and tag it. Um, so I've just got a range of examples here, you know, another um, small hind here dotted underneath a, sitting underneath a, a young pine tree, um, range 181 metres, uh, again 150 metres above ground for the drone, and just showing the benefit of, of that thermal and night vision. So that's a, a paired image taken at the same time, and, and so the pilot can see both images um, at that time and, and can make that decision, or the sensor operator should I say. Um, again, another another deer uh, sitting underneath um, a young pine as well. Uh, in this case here, um, 283 metres out from the drone, um, you can see the thermal detection on the on the left, and then the, the night vision on the right. I guess one of the things that aids us when we're actually flying is is motion. So here you're looking at the paired video um, of 
of what the actual uh, sensor operators are seeing on the drone at the time. And so you can see on the left hand side um, the video in thermal and on the right hand side the video in, in night vision. So you can see here um, that the two gimbals and, and sensors are all linked together and you can see the little pig here um, just having a munch away um, drifting around not far from that fence line uh, old fence line in this young pine plantation so it is it is very much a, in terms of detection and identification of the species um, a, a lot of it comes down to movement as well and so while I've been showing you some static footage up until now um, this is actually what what the pilots actually seeing um, when they're um, when they're doing the surveys and so you can also get a sense of the IR illuminator um, that is paired with the, the cameras on the gimbal and so you can see that um, turned on there uh, on the on the right hand side and just um, what that does in terms of gives us that, that vision in, in the night with that night vision camera. So yeah, that, that pig was sitting at uh, about 150 metres uh, from the drone, um, and the drone itself was about 150 metres up in the in the air as well, um, and, and identifying and spotting that pig. Uh, so here's, here's another seven pigs um, dotted through, again, that young pine plantation. Um, you can see them quite clearly moving around in the, in the night vision thermal on the right and and very easy for the uh, drone operator to spot identify and, and carry on uh, again just looking at different species um, here's two two deer um, again looking at the range we're, we're 201 meters away from these deer um, as we're um, looking at them and so and about 170 metres altitude in this particular case. So that wide angle view of the thermal on the left is without any digital zoom. Um, on the right hand side obviously there's a, a, a night vision sensor operating with a, an optical zoom camera, um, so hence the, the good view um, of, those, of those deer. In this case here we've got some goats in a sort of native riparian scrubby um, gorse pine uh, type area and so we're, we're 180 meters out with the drone in this particular case 150 meters altitude um, you can see the drone is, is picking up those goats you can see the glint of their eyes from time to time in the night vision camera and um, and them having a good old uh, munch away um, on the vegetation there uh, is there um, and of course from our perspective we're tagging um, each one of those with a GPS location and that's not, not, not a GPS location of the drone but actually using that laser rangefinder uh, and tagging the um, location of, of all seven of those um, goats in this particular case. I think you can appreciate um, how much the, the movement of the animals um, gives away their, their species and able to identify those. Uh, just another stag in this particular case, um, wandering through the plantation and, and just trying to give you an idea of, of what's achievable. Uh, from a use of the night vision um, with the zoom optics and, and the IR illuminator. So this is 245 metres from the drone and flying at altitude 150 metres. You can see the, the deer is not bothered by the drone at all. Um, it's not concerned or, or noting its presence and, and just going about its, its usual activity. Um, there's often times when we're flying across and, and we just sort of get an alert, a thermal alert, um, and so we're just investigating. And I guess this is an example of, of the sensor operator doing one of those investigations and just wanted to, to show it. There's nothing here, um, but just wanted to show it in, in the sense of um, the detail which the um, near infrared compared to just how we've been operating with the thermal uh, for um, detecting the wallabies you know we can really um, zoom in to particular objects of interest um, and inspect them and, and to some extent start seeing down through small gaps in the canopy and, and so on. 
again, this is it. Um, yeah, some 170 meters above the ground. Um, looking at this small, small hole here uh, with water in it. So obviously, um, the other, some of the other pests out there are possums, and and so you're getting thermal alerts on these um, quite consistently as you're flying over, uh, particularly the pine and and so on. And these are often up in the canopy itself. So here we can see um, a couple of those small thermal alerts uh, just highlighted in the on the left. And again, just with the night vision, being able to go in, confirm and, and see the possum uh, just sitting in the tree there. So um, and often particular to together with the movement um, that enables us to see them munching away on the on the leaves of the branches on the tree etc. So that's that's at a range of 188 meters, um, 170 meters above the ground. Um, just having those couple of possums. So just just a few examples there. There's another possum um, just identified. Uh, and if you look carefully in, in the thermal image above, you can actually spot um, you know two or three of those. Um, in that area. Another little possum uh, just sitting beside uh, the fence line there. Uh, again, you know, one of the challenges is, is a possum or a wallaby, um, but again the movement and, and being able to look with the night vision has, has enabled us to, to operate safely with the thermal. So you know, here we're 170 metres above the ground, well above any obstacles at night, uh, etc. And, and even 215 metres away. And, and here we are just identifying a thermal alert for a possum, being able to zoom into it and, and have a look. And again, we can see that there's there's a number of thermal alerts um, identified in this particular image, and, and in this case here, the other four uh, dots there are actually deer just just sitting out um, and uh, yeah, hanging out. I talked about um, I guess the challenges of, with wallaby is just making sure we're not missing any, and and just sort of how that movement's important. So here we've got a, a small thermal alert uh, triggered, and it's next to an opening, which you know would typically be sort of wallaby territory for feeding at night, and and so you know on investigation with the night vision we can see um, a, a small animal at the base of the tree there. But of course, movement um, is is a big key. So here we can see the movement of of the possum, and um, and so very quickly, you know, within a few seconds, um, the sensor operator is able to to see that movement, identify it as as a possum, and, and quickly move on. So you can see him just walking across the ground there. Um, and again, this is coincident video, so you're getting getting an idea of what that thermal alert looks like on the left. Um, in that wide angle sort of thermal view without any zoom um, and then of course um, him hopping up into the tree there uh, type thing. So the, the flights are conducted in a systematic survey and, and so we've worked in this particular we worked a 250 meter swath line covering about a thousand hectares um, between 2100 and 0400 hours and uh, and I, really, I guess the the speed of the survey is dependent on the number of detections and investigations. The the drones itself is flying on autopilot, um, uh, navigating uh, above the terrain, keeping consistent altitude at all times uh, above the uh, surrounding terrain. And then, really, the the pilot is pausing it. Um, when a thermal alert is, is identified and then we do that inspection with the night vision. Uh, the benefit in the night vision of course is we're not having to drop altitude uh, of the drone to, to inspect, we can just stay where we are and then of course we, we do the species confirmation and then uh, and really just resume flight. So in this case here we're doing a 250 metre swath um, and on this particular map we've just identified uh, points where there's, there's multiple of the same animal at the same location. So you can see um, in, the, in the top there uh, seven goats, with seven pigs not far from them, um, four deer uh, over on the fence line there in the open paddock, those were the ones sitting uh, sitting in the open there, and then of course a cluster of deer um, 
in in the middle right and in the lower uh, corner just uh, one pig hanging out by itself. So I just want to acknowledge uh, obviously the Bay of Plenty Regional Council and the work program that we've got um, trialling and investigating and then implementing and using uh, the drones for wallaby detection and uh, obviously our team uh, working on that, Chris, Patrick, uh, myself, uh, Jinga and Brooke. The, uh, the key for us is this is just a, a quick update on the very first flight using the night vision and the thermal and um, and we look forward to providing more updates uh, as, as we uh, detect more wallabies out there.